I would like you to meet John, someone like you and me. Today, John is not feeling very well, so he goes to see his doctor. She prescribes a medication for him. Now, do you think she knows whether this medication is going to work for John? A skilled doctor in a European country. What do you think? The truth is, often she doesn't. She knows that 30 out of 100 patients who take this pill are actually going to recover. It could be as low as 10. It could be as high as 90. But that says very little about John. It works or it doesn't work. 30% chance, 10%, 90%. Now, if John had a little headache or something, this wouldn't be much of a problem. But if John were seriously ill, and these drugs could give him severe side effects, it could be a matter of life or death. What if we would know up front if a drug works? What if we could select the right drug on the diseased cells of John himself? Research of the British Medical Journal has shown that one-third of prescribed medical treatments has a proven benefit to the patient. One-third? Really? I mean, imagine buying a car and finding out that it works only three out of ten times. Would you accept this? In cancer, it's even worse. Two out of ten cancer drugs have some benefit to the patient. So, are these drugs bad products then? No. The biggest problem is that our diseases are as unique as we are. Our doctors simply don't have the right information to select the right drug for the right patient. What we need is a revolution in the way we think about drug selection. It has to work for real individuals. At our company, Memetas, in Leiden, we have developed technology that allows us to grow thousands of tiny human tissues, just like they grow in our bodies. Three-dimensional, with blood vessels, multiple cell types, and in the right cell environment. We call it an organoplate. I've got one here. Currently, we use the organoplate to help pharmaceutical companies to develop better medicines. What I want is to use the organoplate to develop a groundbreaking diagnostic technology based on selecting the right medicine on the diseased cells of an individual patient. Well, that's a long sentence. So how would it work in real life? Here's John again. This time, he's really ill. Let's say he has kidney disease. We take a few of his cells and we transform them into thousands of microscopically small kidneys in an organoplate. That would look something like this. Thousands of microscopically small kidneys in an organoplate? Really? Yes. Nowadays, we can grow almost any cell of any patient using the latest stem cell technologies. We can take a few skin cells and turn them into brain cells or lung cells, gut cells, and indeed, kidney cells. Of course, these kidneys don't look like our own kidneys. They look like this. They're kidney models, but they have all the important functions. We apply these kidney models to screen all available drugs and select the ones that will repair John's kidney best. In a couple of weeks, John's doctor will receive the list of drugs that will repair John's kidney and John's alone. And only then, John gets to take his pills. This is a true revolution, not just a minor improvement. This changes John's life and our life. This is my dream. But first, we got to change the way we think about medicine. Not one size fits all. 
It should be a real effect for a real individual patient. Of course, we at Matters, we cannot do this alone. This is a huge project. We need everyone on board. We need the pharmaceutical companies. We need investors. We need health insurance companies. We need medical doctors who prescribe the drugs. We, of course, need the patients that need to have trust in this technology. And we definitely need the policymakers on our side. Only if we put our efforts together, we can create a revolution. Every day, we spend a thousand billion euros on medication in the world. Only one out of three treatments work. So essentially, we throw away 700 billion euros. What if we could improve three out of 10 to six out of 10? Or maybe eight out of 10? Or at some day, even 10 out of 10? I believe in a future where this is possible. We could actually cure many of the diseases that are debilitating us, our parents, our children. We could cure more people while actually saving money on treatments that don't work. So let's start changing the system now. Let's spend our healthcare money better. Let's boost drug innovation. And for most, let's find real cures for diabetes, Alzheimer's, cancer, vascular disease, and many of the other complex individual diseases. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm inviting you to take that step, to come over, whether you're an investor, a pharmaceutical company, a politician, maybe a medical doctor, or a patient yourself. Only together we can pull this off. I invite you to come forward, come to me, and talk to me, and be part of the Mamedas journey into the future. Thank you very much.